Hello and welcome to a very special mindfulness challenge, day number 16 of 14. Somebody put on uh, YouTube yesterday, um, I'm not very good at maths, but surely this, <laughs> we've done one too many um, and now we're going to do two too many. And I wanted to come out today um, to get out in the fresh air really and just try to have a think about, you know, everything that's, that we've discussed over the last... 15 days and by now we're starting to understand and realize the importance of mindfulness and the amazing tools it can give us to be able to cope with um, what life throws at us but also I want you to think about how you know life is up and down and life isn't meant to be perfect well, none of us are perfect we're perfect in our own little ways but it's about us making the best of what we've got and I said in one of the one of the uh, earlier on ones is that we only truly appreciate something just before we have it or just after we've lost it and isolation is now you know making us think about the things that we used to like to do you know going to the pub going to see family going on the beach socializing you know we're social animals and isolation has taken a lot of that away from us. And I was only thinking when I was driving you just now, you know, it, it is it is being quite difficult. I mean, I think we've got a long way to go yet. But the ability to be able to listen and learn and grow and transform through this period, you know, has been has been good as well as bad. I always say that I think you know, again, minimum amount of losses, maximum amount of impact. And I think, you know when this is all over I keep saying it but we all need to stand up and not allow the things to go back to the way some of the things the way things were and I think that's important but for ourselves from a mindfulness point of view being able to bring together all of the things that we've talked about the lake meditation the mountain meditation you know the loving kindness the good afternoon good morning Julian I love you uh, side of things as well is all really really important and if we can bring all of that together to give us coping mechanisms for our lives going forward that we can live this more mindful life moment by moment and not dissect the past or overthink and worry about the future actually just be in the moment and and enjoy what we've got however much or however little that is be thankful for you know where we are and how we're doing things and you know if you think about it logically the only thing that really matters is health if you've got your health you're a millionaire if you've got your health you're a very lucky person and even in times like we are now where you know that that health and that fragility is being tested on a on a daily basis an hourly basis then you know we've got our health and that's important and we can worry about it and we can do all of these things um, but ultimately you know mindfulness is about being in the moment and I wanted to be out in nature today I didn't bring my dog because he barks too much just have a listen to this You see, we probably didn't hear much of that when I was talking um, because we were doing something else. And while I was talking, how many of you were thinking about your situations and what's going on in your life at the moment? And that's okay, I understand it. But be in the moment. Be with me now. Just be with me now. It's it's so for me anyway. It's really grounding, but for me it's really it's really beautiful just to be able to sit here and just be in the moment. Um, and we're not going to do anything complicated today. Today's quite a short video. Um, we're going to do just an awareness meditation. And all I want you to do really is just to be able to sit and focus on your breath. So when we close our eyes. Take a deep breath in. Where do we feel that breath? Mine is here. And all we're going to do is we're just going to sit and focus on that point. 
And if a thought or an idea comes in, then we're just going to let it in and we're going to let it out. And I'm going to join you. And I've got on my phone I've got um, an app that we're going to use which is an insight timer and we're going to do a 10 minute meditation okay and that 10 minute meditation we're just going to focus on our breath okay and let's Make sure the bell's long enough so you can tell it's all live. Here we go. Just close your eyes, get yourself comfortable, and for the next 10 minutes, we're just going to focus on our breath. Just focus on your breath. Use it as your anchor. And if you have any thoughts, just let them in, accept them, acknowledge them, and then let them go. Breathe it in. And breathe it out. Focus on your own breath and your own natural rhythm. It doesn't matter how many thoughts come in. We acknowledge them, we accept them, we treat them with loving kindness, good or bad, and then we breathe and we let them go. Spend your own time now just focusing on your breath. Focusing on the breath, breathing in, breathing out. If anything comes into your mind, just acknowledge it, accept it, and let it go. Come back to your breath with loving kindness. Just listening to the beautiful sounds of this spiritual ancient forest. Breathing in and breathing out.
Just focus in on your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Any thoughts that come in, just let them in, accept them, acknowledge them, holding with loving kindness and let them go. Focusing on your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Nice and relaxed and calm. Allowing the thoughts to come in and accept them, acknowledge them, hold them with loving kindness, compassion, and let them go. Come back to your breath.
Take a deep breath in. When you're ready, just slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. So there was 10 minutes of beautiful woodland energy and healing and mindfulness, just focusing on your breath. I feel really chilled now. <laughs> it's, it's quite hard to, <clears throat> to break in and start talking again. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, back in the office, I think, or if it's a really nice day, I might do something out in the garden, keep the theme going. Um, thank you to everybody for your amazing wishes of health and get well. I'm still cloggy here. It's been a horrendous period, but I just think we're through it now and um, we've done our quarantine. It's okay. I'm the only person in this wood anyway. There's more than two metres distance between me and anything else. Maybe not the birds, but it's a beautiful place. And just remember, thank you for all of your support because... All of the readings that you buy, all of the Udemy courses that you take, all of the community people on lhcommunity.net, which is a light and harmony community. It's a community if you want to see. Um, and also, you know, if you've bought my book, thanks very much. All of those bits and pieces, all of the, once the costs have come out, all of that goes into this. And this is a project that will be started as soon as we get out the back end of this coronavirus. And this project is going to be there for all of us. And you're all part of it. You will all feel that you've played your part in creating a space for people to come and be their best selves. For them to get over trauma, emotions, you know, physical, mental, and just be in a beautiful, beautiful space. I've just done it for 10 minutes and so have you, it's amazing. So thank you all very much for your support. If you haven't bought my book, buy my book. If you haven't bought the courses, it all helps. And if you haven't subscribed to the, the LH community site, then please do so. Um, Thanks very much for watching. God bless. Be love and give love. And don't forget, good morning or good afternoon in this case, Julian. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of it. Have a lovely day as best we can. Just be grateful for small mercies. See you soon. Take care. Be love and give love. Bye-bye.